standing on the northern edge of the Gettysburg battlefield for July 1st, 1863, at the property location where the almshouse, or county poorhouse, was located during the Battle of Gettysburg. Beyond my right shoulder is Barlow's Knoll and the position advanced for the Union 11th Army Corps. My name's Wayne Motts. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the National Civil War Museum, and I'm also a licensed battlefield guide at the Gettysburg National Military Park. And I want to tell you a little story about the young artillerist, Bayard Wilkerson, who's in charge of Battery G, 4th United States Artillery Regiment, posted on Barlow's Knoll behind me for the afternoon of July 1st, 1863. Young Wilkerson was born in Albany, New York in May of 1844. His family moved to Buffalo, New York, where his grandfather was a founder of that city and also a mayor at one time. He came from a well-connected family. His aunt was Elizabeth Cady Stanton, who was part of the women's suffrage movement and friends with Susan B. Anthony. In 1861, Bayard Wilkerson is only 17 years old, but he gets a direct commission in the U.S. regular artillery. His father, Samuel, is a correspondent for the New York Times. And during the Battle of Gettysburg, Bayard Wilkerson's father is covering the Battle of Gettysburg as a special correspondent for the New York Times. On July 1st, 1863, Bayard Wilkerson is struck in the leg while mounted in command of his battery by a solid artillery shell. It kills his horse. As he's lying on the ground, a handkerchief is taken out of his pocket, is placed around his leg and used as a tourniquet. He's propped up between the guns, according to a family letter, and he's brought back to this location over the ground behind me, which was recently preserved by the American Battlefield Trust. Baird Wilkerson was brought back to this location, placed in the basement of the Alms House, but his wound proved mortal. He bled to death and died in the Alms House. His body was taken back to Buffalo, New York, where it was laid to rest in the, at the Forest Lawn Cemetery. That's where it is today. Here, his father, Samuel Wilkerson, not only has to report on thousands of young men dying in the Battle of Gettysburg, but his own son is sacrificed here on July 1st, 1863. I hope you enjoyed this short video. For others like it, please go to the National Civil War Museum's YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks.